That's why we have a world of people who are floundering in their lives, who have no sense of security, and their life is all wrapped up in what? It's wrapped up in pleasure and material things. Because you see, somebody says, well, if I can't see it, I don't believe in it. They don't believe that. They can't see electricity. They cut lights on. I'd say, what I'd say is, well, go buy yourself a bunch of candles. Help yourself. But for me, I'm turning on the light. I don't understand why, how fast it happens. But I'd rather have that which I cannot understand than a candle which I can understand. Strike a match, light it, and there you got it. So, when we think about all this, and I think about uh, what assurance do we have when it comes to these things that we don't understand? What about our personal lives? If I went around the room and said, how many of you, for example, have had things happen in your life that you don't understand? Not only that, you didn't like it. In fact, you don't understand why God allowed it. In fact, uh, Romans 8:28 says, and we know that God works all things together for good, for those that love God, for those that are called according to his purpose. Look at uh, the story of Joseph, how lots of bad things happened to him, but God worked it all out for the good.